Olympics. Man, um, this is a soap opera that never ends. The Olympics, the Tokyo Olympics. Um, so, um, <laughs> where to begin and where to end? Who knows? The first story is, of course, they just decided, I believe yesterday, they made the final decision. They were angling for this for a long time. If you live outside of Japan and you are not uh, an actual Olympic athlete or a trainer, uh, you will not be allowed to attend the Olympics. They, the government has decided and the Olympics has decided that they will not allow overseas-based fans to come and watch the Olympics. Apparently this will affect, uh, what is it, 630,000 people. Uh, they've sold tickets to people overseas. I don't know what they're going to do about the refunds for that. Uh, it sucks. I do think, like, like if, if it's the alternative between zero, um, this seems like a good case to allow vaccine passports again which uh, sure that might be discriminatory it might mean that you can't bring your kids and that might seem unfair but it's better than nobody being able to come for the people who want to do it it does seem a bit unnecessary for zero but i mean the whole thing is unnecessary this is the whole point but the, the fact that they're pushing ahead they're not canceling the olympics but they're just having no fans normally that would be like the worst story about the olympics that could have happened this week but uh buckle in because there are more stories that's that's just that's the first part of it the second part of it yeah i mentioned that you should um if, if you can't actually uh be an olympic athlete or you should try to get into an olympic delegation well it turns out that's probably not going to work either because uh the olympics are also uh, also because so many volunteers have quit they're, they're actually re reallocating volunteer roles to ask people each volunteer to assume the planned roles of two volunteers um to the extent that's about crowd control i suppose given that there won't be any crowds that probably will be easier but you know hopefully those won't be people on different shifts otherwise they won't be sleeping and they won't be getting paid either way anyway but yes um, they're also going to be limiting the delegations uh, to the extent it's, um, you know, people like Minister Hashimoto, who just appeared in the Sochi Olympics to just be sexually harassing the athletes. Uh, that's probably a good idea. But if it's coaches and trainers and staff, you know, like, how are you supposed to cut that down? So, OK, fine, not going to have any spectators and we're going to uh, we're going to try to cut down the number of people assisting. I mean, again, why are they even proceeding at this point is the obvious question. By the way, Shimano Prefecture said that they want to cancel the torch relay, which just started, because I think this whole thing is a terrible idea. They got told off by the government for it, but they said, yeah, but it still is a terrible idea. Uh, still not the worst thing that happened this week, however, although, you know, saying that the Olympic delegations themselves can come to the Olympics, but they can't bring all of their teams. Um, yeah, that also seems a bit strange. There was this. This guy, I think his former dancer, uh, the creative director uh, for the opening ceremony, the only thing which it looked like might be might go well, although who knows what's happened with it. Over yeah, Given that they've had a whole extra year of practice, you think that it might be good. But apparently the creative head has been having a bit of a creative block. Apparently the, they had the idea that there is a um, popular, uh, sort of all over the... Um, <laughs> Uh, the media in Japan, there is an entertainer, um, uh, in fact, I just realized I want to make sure I say her name correctly, and uh, they don't actually say it in the article, in the NHK World article, they don't say her name, and now I'm, re I, uh, oh god, I'm blanking out on her name, but in any case, she is a, 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 a I think what we now call a fuller figure celebrity and she actually even plays that up sometimes you know she she actually promotes positive body image and whatnot she is very popular she's on lots of shows tv commercials and whatever and that's okay because in japan and japanese wow they don't actually call it the olympics they'll call it either in japanese they'll call it the five rings in, ja in kanji gorin or more commonly when they say it in katakana uh, imitating the word olympics you know adding the extra just is an extra two letters in japanese su, they have to say so they just cut it off and typically it's pretty common rather than say tokyo olympic su, they'll say tokyo olympic you know just say it as a singular um is what is what it is so when you have it as a singular um he thought well you know the creative director in charge of the opening ceremony thought it would be a good idea suggested in a brainstorming uh, thing what about we get that fuller figure actress and we we put her on stage and we we say that we dress her up as a pig and we say that she's the olympic <laughs> and i don't know i mean honestly if this is the, the the creative brains behind the opening ceremony again these are these are not good signals uh, apparently uh, his uh, staff reacted so negatively to the comment that uh, they said it was uh, discriminatory and offensive towards women and towards uh, fat people and uh, this is another old man who should uh, just resign and he did resign so you know that's okay we're, we're three months out the, the the person in charge of the opening ceremony has quit 
um, we're, 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 we're telling no, no, no foreign spectators to come. We're telling the actual delegations themselves not to bring too many people. And the, 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 the prefectures don't want to carry the torch relay. Um, and the uh, yeah, guy in charge of the opening ceremony uh, had to quit over wanting to dress a, 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 a fuller sized woman up as a pig and calling her the Olympic <laughs> as a gimmick for the opening ceremony. Uh, which of course would have gone down fabulously. Uh, I mean, you know, pig, pigs are a pretty neutral. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I mean, it's kind of, in a way, I suppose it could bring the world together. You could you could actually bring together all the countries that are religiously offended and all the uh, countries that aren't religiously offended but are offended by the idea of dressing up a woman and calling her a pig, and making that a theme for the opening ceremony would bring the whole world together. I think that's what the Olympics are for, isn't it? But yeah, anyway, that that's, uh, oh yeah, also um, for those people in Tokyo who still think, haha, I'm not in the delegation so I can come, I live here, so I'm not a tourist, so I can still go, uh, I don't care about the Olympic thing, and I'm not carrying the torch, so everything is still going well, I'm going to go and get all my Tokyo 2020, which, besides the fact it's still called Tokyo 2020, uh, yeah, so uh, it's in March, four months before the game, the, the official uh, shop for the Tokyo Olympics has now closed down, and it may or may not restart. <laughs> So again, I mean, short of a meteor actually striking the stadium, I mean, how much of a signal uh, are they looking for that this is just uh, not meant to be? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Signals, Jerry, signals. Uh, <laughs> if merch, uh, swag, if swag was your, the thing you're most looking forward to about the Olympics, I suppose this would be the worst story this week. I mean... It, it, it's a comedy it's a comedy every week i've got i've got more there's more ridiculous stuff they're still going ahead and and the, you know as i've said the worst part of it is i mean it's the chinese government paying for this because you know they're they're, they're just uh it's like the naked gun scene with uh you know the guy standing in front of the exploding fireworks factory saying nothing to see here move along <laughs> This is Japan just providing complete air cover for um, the uh, for, for, for the very problematic Beijing games that are happening six months after. And who's got time to pay attention to genocide in Xinjiang or uh, the uh, ending of the uh, democratic electoral system in Hong Kong when, you know, the creative uh, director for the opening ceremony wants to dress up a woman as a pig as part of the, um, <laughs> the opening ceremony. Ah, uh, who knows? Who knows? I, I, I seriously, this is this is it's, all, it's actually getting kind of sad at this point. But um, yeah, that's this week's Olympic updates. Terrified of what might happen next week.